There are many important pool fundamentals. You need to have a consistent and purposeful pre-shot routine. You need to be able to visualize and aim shots accurately. And you need to have a reliable and consistent stroke. But probably one of the most important fundamentals is having your head in the right place. Every person has a unique head position relative to the cue that allows that person to visualize the line of a shot correctly. This is called the vision center position. For many people, the vision center is with the cue under the nose right between the eyes. For some, it might be with the cue directly under one eye. And for others, it will be somewhere in between or even outside of the eyes. And the vision center position is not always correlated with which eye might be dominant or not. For example, I am right eye dominant, but my ideal vision center position is with the cue perfectly centered between my eyes. If your head is not in the right place, you will have trouble aiming and you will miss lots of shots. In this video, I show a simple way to find your personal vision center quickly and accurately. First set up the cue ball and object ball along a straight line in the center of the table. As we will see later, you want to align the balls with the diamonds very carefully if you want to get accurate vision center results. If the head spot and foot spot are clearly and accurately marked, you can use those positions. But sometimes they don't line up with the real diamonds perfectly. If not, you can use a laser level to help. If you don't have a laser level, I will show you an alternative method later. I have the laser level over the middle diamond on the foot rail pointing straight to the middle of the head rail. If your table has a nameplate instead of a diamond on the rail, you can use a piece of chalk to help you see the laser line so you can place a donut at the center of the plate. As you can see, the laser line goes through the center of the object ball, cue ball, and rail donut. Notice that the foot and head spot markers are off ever so slightly. The next time I get my cloth changed, I will make sure they get placed perfectly. I am using white donuts to mark the cue ball and object ball positions. You can see that they are both on the laser line. I placed each donut by tapping down on each ball to make a small mark and indentation on the cloth. Then I just placed the donuts centered over the marks. If you don't have a laser level, don't despair. You can be just as accurate using your eyes. Just close one eye and get down low to look over the tops of the balls. Here I have extra balls frozen to the rails at the center diamonds. If a ball is off the line, like the cue ball here, you will be able to clearly see it. Just nudge the ball positions until they all appear to be in a straight line. And again, tap the cue ball and object ball down in place when everything looks good. As a final check, I set up the laser level and a golf tee to verify that both the cue ball and object ball are along the middle diamond line. The golf tee also helps when aiming the shot. Now you are ready to check your personal vision center position. Just aim for what you think is a perfect stop shot on the 13. If your vision center is aligned properly, the cue will be in perfect alignment with the balls. If this is the case, the cue will be centered over the rail donut. You can check this by moving your eyes down while keeping everything else still. If your vision center is not aligned properly, your aim will be off. Here, I'm aiming several times to verify that I am consistent coming down with the wrong line of aim. I know the aim was wrong because each time I glanced down with my eyes, I saw this. The reason for this is my head is slightly to the left of the cue, causing me to see the line of aim and cue alignment incorrectly. When I instead align my vision center properly, starting in the standing position, I arrive at the correct line of aim with the cue pointing perfectly straight. Again, I am trying it several times to make sure I am consistent. If you don't already know your personal vision center position like me, here's how you find it. Aim the shot and come down into your stance, carefully checking your cue alignment. If your vision center is off, the cue will not be over the donut. Glance down with your eyes to check. Then position the cue over the donut. Because we position the ball so carefully, we know that this is the correct line of aim. Keeping the cue still with slight pressure down into the rail at the donut, and with the tip centered on the cue ball, move your head, shoulders, and hips back and forth while maintaining your face orientation. The aim will look bad in one direction when you go far to the right, and it will look bad in the other direction when you go far to the left. Move your head back and forth, looking for the position at which the shot aim looks perfect. Move smaller and smaller amounts until you settle on what looks like the best picture of the shot. At this point, your head will be in your personal vision center position. 
Again, for me, it is with the cue centered right between my eyes, but everybody is different. Glance down with your eyes so you can see where the cue is relative to your nose and eyes. Remember how this looks so you can check yourself periodically when down in your stance when practicing or playing. Or if you get low on your stance like me, you can just remember where the cue touches your chin. That's one advantage of a low stance, being able to ensure accurate vision center alignment with a chin touch. I touch my chin to the cue before every shot as part of my pre-shot routine. Ideally, you want your vision center over the shot line during your whole pre-stance routine. We didn't need to shoot a single shot to find our ideal personal vision center position. That's good because sometimes misses are caused by a bad stroke. If you want to test and improve your stroke, see the videos in info at the link in the video description. If you trust your stroke, here's a good drill to test out your vision center position. Just try to hit perfect stop shots. Before I found my personal vision center position many years ago, I used to position the cue between my right eye and nose, favoring my dominant eye. When I did, I often got results like this. Notice that I'm consistent, but the aim is off every time, even though the shot and cue alignment look straight to me. Again, it was because my head was in the wrong place. If instead my head is in my personal vision center position and my stroke is straight, I will have much better results. You might not hit the shot perfectly every time, so hit a bunch to see if there are any patterns. If your stroke is decent and the cue ball goes to one side every time, it is likely your head is not in the right place. It is normal to have some random errors due to small tip placement, aim, or stroke problems, but if the cue ball consistently goes to one side, you probably need to recheck your vision center position. Here, I hit the cue ball a hair to the right of center, causing a touch of right spin, which throws the object ball to the left slightly. And here I have a touch of unintentional left spin. Here, my aim is off to the right a hair. And here, my aim is off to the left a hair. And on this one, I don't accelerate through the cue ball well and get less speed than expected, causing the cue ball to head forward slightly. If you hit the shot well, the cue ball will stop in place. And if you hit it really well, the object ball will hit the cue ball back to your tip. Give the drill a try. Another fun drill is to try stop shots along the table diagonal like this. You get the pocket balls, which is more fun. And the shot is a little longer, making it more challenging. Set it up just like the previous drill, using balls on the corner pockets to define the straight line of the shot. Again, get down low, looking over the balls, to make sure they are all in a straight line. Place donuts under the cue ball and object ball, and on the top of the pocket, also along the line. The pocket donut allows you to check your aim when down on the shot. I also like to place a donut close to the tip follow-through position so I can check the straightness of the stroke after the hit. The cue ball stopped, and the tip is in line with the donuts, so both the aim and stroke were good. Again, you will have random errors due to aim, cue alignment, tip placement, and stroke imperfections, but if you are missing consistently to one side, you likely have a vision center issue. If that drill is too easy, try the next step described in an excerpt from my Top 10 Aim, Alignment, and Stroke Drills video. Then practice follow shots, trying to make the ball and scratch at least five times in a row. You will be able to do this only with good aim and alignment and with an accurate stroke. Again, be sure to be still and focus on your fundamentals. Then try to pocket the ball and draw back for a scratch. This is a lot tougher. If you can get one or more out of five, you are doing well. Here's a successful example. I hope this video helps you find your ideal personal vision center position, and I hope this helps you be more effective with aiming and shot making. For more information and help, see the Vision Center resource page linked in the video description. Good luck with your game from Dr. Dave.
Thank you.